Hi there, my name is Mrs. Kelly Gilcrest. I'm National Board Certified Teacher. Um, I've been teaching for 13 years. And I wanted to show you today one of the newest features in Smart Notebook 11 software called Activity Builder. If you're familiar with Promethean Active Inspire, this is similar to their container feature. Smart does make it considerably easy, which I love, to set your um, objects to accept different items. So I'm going to show you how I created this noun, verb, and adjective activity. And basically, it allows for a lot of interaction at the board, which my students love. The students come up to the board, and they place the word in the correct spot. Now, obviously, boat is not a verb, so watch as it bounce back. This is what I have the settings at, is to not um, accept boat for verb or adjective. But when we put it in the noun box, notice it disappears. Okay. So, I also have drink set as a noun or a verb. It will take either because technically it is depending on how the students think about it. And the same with dust, that's either a noun or a verb. So, it will accept both of those. So, I'm going to put these into their boxes quickly so I can show you how I made this. Notice it's not going to go there or there but adjective does accept it. And since I previously saved my page, I can go to reset page. If you don't have that, you can go to customize toolbar and you can drag it up to your toolbar. It's right here, reset page. And it's going to revert back to my originally saved notebook page. So I'm gonna go to a new page and I'm going to put a rectangle on my screen. Okay, I'm gonna have a line color of black, fill color of yellow. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this and paste. And I'm going to get a, another color here. It's too green. And this time I'm going to call this capital and lowercase. So we're going to have the students sort between the two types of letters. So I'm going to put capital up here, lowercase up here. I can group these. If you don't know the shortcut for group, you highlight everything with your select or your arrow tool. And we do control, we do control G, and that will group them. All right, so now I'm going to put some letters on my screen. We're just going to do a few here for an example. Okay, I'm going to highlight all of these and we're going to make them considerably larger. Okay. All right, and I'm going to kind of position these where I want them on my screen. All right. Just kind of mixed up here. All right. Now, I'm going to go to this little puzzle piece. This is new. This is called the Activity Builder. And I'm going to select this box first, Capital. Click Edit. Now, what letters do we want this capital box to accept? So we're going to drag them in here. We want it to accept the capital A, capital B, the capital T, the capital L, and the capital Z. Now, all we have to do is reject these objects. So we just click Add All Remaining. But you notice our green box goes in because it's not locked. That's okay. You just take your green box and drag it to the trash can. So now all of the green things this box will accept, and all of the red it will reject. So if you go into settings here, I have it set as the animation to fade out when a box is drug, um, when a letter is drug into the box. We can have it snap to center, fly out, or spin. Okay, and also when rejected. We don't want it to do anything, or we want it to bounce back. I think bounce back really gives the students um, really quick feedback, which is important. So I like to leave it there. And we could also have it play the object sound, which we don't have any sound set right now. I'll show you that in another tutorial. So I'm going to click Done. And now we're going to set our lowercase. So we go to Edit. Which letters do we want um, this box to accept? So we're going to put all the lowercase letters in here. So we have our lowercase a, b, and t. And then add all remaining. Same thing. I can get rid of that box. Click done. Now, 
it should work. I'm going to go ahead though first and do file save as. I'm going to save my file just just to be safe so I can reset it. And notice if we drag our capital letter into the lowercase box, it doesn't accept, but it does disappear. Lowercase in the capital doesn't work. So all of these work nicely. So that's how you have it. Um, that's how you use and create activities in Smart Notebook 11 Activity Builder. My name again is Mrs. Kay Gilchrist. Visit AmazingClassroom.com for tons of lessons, activities, classroom websites, and more tutorials. Enjoy.